Thank you for joining us as part of Hello Goals interview series. Um, today we welcome the soul behind the personal finance blog, Ring It or Ring It. Hi. Uh, the author of Money Stories from Legends, Volume 1, Ms. Soraya Zainuddin. Hello, thanks for having me. Uh, so let's get straight into it. So maybe we can start. Um, so what is it that got you started um, to share your experience about uh, personal finance? I've always been a finance nerd. Okay. That's, that's the simplest, simplest oh, way to, to, to boil it down. I've always right. been a finance nerd. Okay. But the difference is, is before I was shy about it, now I'm open about it. <laughs> because okay. that's, that's now like more community that is supportive sure. about talking about money topics. Right. So now I'm okay talking about it. Okay. But before then, I've just, I've been sharing personal finance stories, like my groceries right, okay. on Tumblr. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, this is, I guess, th this is information that people really want to ask, but sometimes mm -hmm. don't know where to go yeah. uh, to sort of ask, right? Yeah, yeah. People wanted to have like a, a source of financial information sure. that is not from, you know, not from financial institutions. Sure. Like how does everyday person manage their finances? Right. I think okay. that was just so happened to be at the right place at the right time. Okay. There was this gap of information. Right. I was there um, okay. and it, it started from there. Okay. Mm. And when you started, was there a lot of like financial information already available? In Malaysia? In Malaysia, yes. No. No. Okay. No. Overseas, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah. So I have been. The reason why I started Ringgit or Ringgit is because I wanted to read those kind of information, but in a Malaysian context. Okay. So they were talking about like, you know, like tax tips, but for Americans, right? Okay. Right. And that's not applicable to me. So right. I wanted something that's more localized. Okay. Right. So I've been always like following people who talk about what they do to save okay. money, how they want to get retired faster, right. um, what what do they do to earn more money, what okay. side hustles do they do. I've always been following these like, personalities sure. um, and I wanted to do the same for Malaysia. Okay. But I guess in the Malaysian context, um, one blog which did inspire me to kind of start the, the balls rolling was uh, MrStingy.com. Right, yes, yes, yeah. I read. Ah, uh, Aaron, Aaron Tang. Um, and he published this one post about how he paid off his PTP10 loan. Right. 58,000. Right. Of PTP10 loan okay. using credit card. Right, okay. <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. Very intriguing, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so I read that and then I sent him a fan mail. Okay. Um, he's the nicest guy. Sure. Super sweet. Yeah. Um, um, and I just, you know, I think that gave me the motivation to okay. finally start something on my own. Okay, and cool. I was starting freelance writing at that time and I thought, right. I can put my writing portfolio in here. Why not? Do something yeah. that you love, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. So, maybe we get a bit about your, your sort of readers. Um, mm. What is like a common question that they seem to ask about sort of personal mm. finance or personal saving? Kak Suraya, how to make money? <laughs> <laughs> Kak Suraya, where to put my money? Yes. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, Kak Suraya, which credit card should I get? Right. Okay. <laughs> um, which are all legit questions. Sure. Uh, and <laughs> it, I try my best to answer them okay. without saying it depends. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though that's the real answer. <laughs> Even though that is the yeah, real answer, understand. correct. Uh, but they get that all the time. Yes. Um, and I know that for many people, what they want is not like advice per se because yeah. we are so people my generation yeah. gen z they're so good at researching sure they can find the information yes. right they can they can dig yes i've seen people like doing when hello gold did an ama i yeah. see all types of things that they dug up about yes the company yeah. um robin did a great job by the way <laughs> at answering those questions um but you know, they know how to find the information, but they wanted that, yes, you're, you're, doing, you're doing good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yes, that one is not a scam, yeah. yes. They, they want affirmation. They, exactly. Yeah, yeah okay. Exactly, right. yeah. I mean, that, that generally goes for many markets. Mm. I think um, when people are usually just uh, exposed to traditional financial services, mm. I think in the world of now FinTech mm. or the new startups, mm. there needs to be some form of community. Communal affirmation that using something exactly. is, is, is safe. Right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we get stories of how people are scammed all the time. Yes. So we do too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, for everyday Malaysians, is it mm. is it important for them to diversify their sort of savings or investment portfolio? In the beginning, 
it's more important to start. Yes, that's it. <laughs> yes. I agree. And then you can start thinking of like the extra strategy. Right, okay, yeah. I understand. Yeah. You get all this like financial information, you know, the advice types on what you should do, right? Yes. Um, and then they say things like, oh, diversify. Yes. And people who, who just started like diversify, that poor. Yeah, right? fair enough. Yeah. It's, people don't realize that diversifying your investment is actually a jargon. Yes. Right? Um, and okay. Yeah. And, and do you find like um, when people have started mm. and they, they decide they want to diversify, mm. is there a lot of choice for Malaysians to diversify the, their portfolio of you know, mm. either savings or investment here? Yes. Because I got so tired of explaining what people can do right. <laughs> with their money. Yes. So I, um, most of my articles, many of my articles, um, the idea came from the readers. Right. So it's pretty much things I got tired of asking, okay. <laughs> of answering. Yes. Uh, so, okay, you're, ask, you're asking me where to invest, is it? Yes. Okay. Nah, ambil kau. Um, what to invest with 1,000 ringgit. Right. Nah, link. <laughs> uh, so it's mostly that. So I compile, you know, all the available options right. um, and examples of companies that offer that kind of um, services. Um, and then there are also kind of like um, other articles that kind of complement that. For example, okay. what are the downsides of this type of investments? Sure. Uh, my personal journey with right. this type of investment, um, things like that. Oh, okay, fantastic. Mm. And do you find that, you know, is there sort of a common demographic among your readers or do they sort of shift between sort of old and young, you mm. know, urban, non-urban? Uh, uh, the thing is, uh, like you, yeah. you said you like numbers, right? right. <laughs> so I go and Google Analytics. Right. As do we. And I kind of more, know more or less for okay. my demographics. Um, overwhelming majority is under 35 years old. Right, okay. That makes sense. Um, and it, I'm very proud that it's roughly half and half male-female. Yes. Um, uh, most are concentrated in about like 99%, 98% yes. is in Malaysia. Right. But most are concentrated in urban areas. Okay. Now, as a person who constantly rakes through like financial, uh, countless financial content, you know, a, a lot of... A lot of the indicators that we've seen, uh, especially in the last sort of 12 to 24 months, is that we're heading towards sort of a recession, you know, uh, or we're heading towards not such a good time, you know. Um, now, what would be your definition of a good sort of savings or investment portfolio that can be deemed sort of a safe haven? Good question. Yeah. Safe haven is such a... Haven is such a loaded word. Sure. Understand. Right. Traditionally, goal is what? Yes. Which is why I do have money in Hello Gold. Yes. Full disclosure, yes. I have money in Hello Gold. <laughs> it's all the traditional ones, right? Sure. Right. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I, we get that a lot, you know. And mm. I think um, for a lot of what we do at Hello Gold, mm. it's more, less, it's less to compete with sort mm. of other uh, assets like ours, but mm. more to just give customers choice. Yeah. Right. Um, but with that, mm. you know, what is your opinion on gold? You know, in, in particular, sort of savings mm. in gold. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Well, what, what about it? It will always have value. So that I like about it. Okay. Right? Um, especially having a, my dad yeah. um, was a hardcore, is a hardcore still, okay. property guy. Right. Okay. Right? So he collects land. Right. Collects probably like not the best word for it, yeah. but you know what I mean, right? <laughs> um, collects land, collects offices, collects houses. Okay. Um, but when times are tough, he, especially in this market right yeah. now, very hard to sell. Yes. No um, liquidity. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's hard. And... Um, and I think I got lucky when I got into gold for the first time. Yeah. It was such a positive experience. Sure. Like looking at how the, you know, like historical charts. Right. Long-term trend still looks very positive. Yes. So you're never going to know what's going to happen. Yeah. But based on past, should be okay. Right. Perfect. Okay. And how much gold would you save? How much? Uh, or do you save? As a percentage of your portfolio. Ah, yeah. okay. I do calculate percentage. But something maybe like 10%? 10%. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Which is exactly yeah. what yeah. Um, we recommend a lot of yeah. our customers as well. Yeah. Which is that, you know, if you have 100 ringgit yeah. uh, every month, yeah. you know, in this type of economy, in yeah. this part of the world, yeah. anywhere between 5 to 20% yeah. uh, is a good sort of threshold for you to, to save your goal. You know, yeah. so as you go forward, maybe that's something that you can consider. Yeah, yeah. I think at my peak, it was as much as like 50%. Right. Yeah. Okay. But that was during the um, gold rush in yes. 2011. Yes. Yes, 11, 12. I think the entire world was buying a lot yeah, more yeah, gold yeah, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, 
because we're Hello Gold, and obviously we're based on a digital platform. Um, do you think that digital gold is something that's easily palatable for Malaysians um, as compared to traditionally um, buying physical gold, you know, in the forms of either coins and bars or jewelry and keeping them at home? Look, I was stupid. <laughs> I have bought, I have thought of like gold and then I went on leilong.com right. and I bought a gold coin. Okay. But what I didn't know is that it's a gold plated coin. Right. Okay. That was a stupid move. Okay. <laughs> but you, and, you live and you learn. <laughs> but you live yeah, and you yeah, learn. Yeah. Yes. Cost of education, so right? Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, it's only bad if you don't learn from it. Yes, um, exactly. <laughs> and I have people who collect um, like gold and they're, they're beautiful. Yeah. Right? Um, but I think for someone who aspires to be a minimalist yeah. and would like to not have too much clutter around, sure and worry about them, yeah. digital is my okay. preferred way. Okay, understand. Yeah. As somebody who has traditionally bought physical gold before, mm. and now obviously a Hello Gold customer, mm. what do you think are the main differences uh, that make the Hello Gold sort of experience worth it for you? Sometimes Hello Gold emails yeah. are put, put me pressure. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, That's good feedback. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like because of the constant reminders, sure. like, hello, it's time for you to yeah, find yeah, your yeah. account. Yes, okay. <laughs> so the first one, first two one, I ignore. Yeah. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. yeah. And then it comes again yes. and I'm like, fine. I thought you were <laughs> <laughs> So I appreciate the reminder. <laughs> you won't be able to say. <laughs> Now, have you tried Hello Gold's um, Smart Saver? That's the, the that's that's the reminders that you get. That's the reminders okay. that I get. Yeah. And you know, hello, it's uh, hello, you're late. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I actually I, I worked on the Smart Saver oh. um, product yes. and together with my team yeah. and you know we spent a lot of time and you know one of the things that we have I think we're probably one of the, we're probably the only product that does something like this mm -hmm. and you know if you could just share you know what is it about Smart Saver that, that you like you know sort of what what. Uh, what characteristics of the product that really drove you to sort of join it in the first place? Mm. I mean, I understand the the idea behind it. When when people first come, if people like ask me like investment yeah. related questions, they're yeah. always like, "Sorry, where to put like a chunk of yes, money, right?" But they don't. Many people don't realize that yeah. you can start as easily as like small amounts, yes, but consistent. Exactly. Right? It's not one off. Put money inside. Yes. It's you know over a long term. Exactly. Um, that reduces your risk. So yes. I understand the idea behind it. Yeah. Um, and putting it in a way that makes it almost impossible to ignore. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, I really appreciate you know having integration with Boost. I really right. like that. Yes. I, th I think for a lot of our customers, and I think yeah. you're absolutely right. With uh, for us, you know, one of the things that we realize, people in Asia buy gold. Mm. And as you mentioned before, like the story of your father buys property and the other thing that they do is they keep it in cash, right? And what we found for the gold buyers is that you need to save up a certain amount before you can make the purchase, right? So for like example, property, if you want to buy some land, you're going to have maybe a few hundred thousand before you yeah. can buy the piece of land. Uh, for gold, same thing. Usually the minimum is about a gram for physical and you're spending about 200 ringgit uh, or so. So when we first started Hello Gold, you know, one of our sort of value propositions that we were trying to bring to the market was that even if you have a dollar, you can just save it because it's dollar cost averaging, which is really the genesis of the smart saver program. Yeah. So dollar cost averaging was something that we thought was going to be quite useful for a lot of our customers. You yes. know, it, you can start with, I think, 30 ringgit a month now, yeah. you know, so effectively a dollar a day, yeah. right? And for a lot of people, they're going to get the most value out of gold yeah. if they're disciplined about buying gold. Yeah. You know, if you... If you buy once every five years a large chunk, it means that your overall position is, is tied to that chunk of gold that you bought. Whereas something like Smart Saver, you generally just move in line with the performance of gold. You know, as gold trends up, you still buy. As the gold trends down, you still buy. Ultimately, you get to where you need gold to be on the day that you actually need it, right? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, that's, that's really important. I, people don't realize, as someone who has been bitten by like, the timing, <laughs> yes, understand. Uh, which is another lesson, expensive lesson, but yeah. lesson. Um, but you were part of the gold run, so that was good timing. That, that was, was good timing. That was good timing. Yes, yeah. but not dependable. No, not, not, not dependable. Exactly. Yeah, luck is not an investment strategy. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, did, what did you say? Um, trust in God, but tie your camel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, 
Yes. Okay, great. Um, you know, thank you again for spending time with us today. Yes. Um, and sharing Tell us all these what things. do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? What do I do? Yeah. Uh, I do a lot of things. Um, yeah. I think when I, I have a background in finance, um, but when I first started together with Robin, um, we set this up from a team of five. Mm -hmm. We're now, I think, about 80 people here. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. Um, and since then, you know, we've just been focused on trying to build out the product. Um, we launched in Thailand uh, not too long ago. I'm going to say about two months ago. Good. And we're focused on getting Indonesia uh, mm. up and running, hopefully by the June this year. Mm. Um, so on a day-to-day -day basis, I sort of dabble overall my title strategy lead. So I look at overall business strategy. Um, but generally, it's pretty much means I do everything. That's uh, cool. Yeah. So we dabble into marketing, dabble into product. And product you know, drives a lot of what we do here because we feel as if the customers should really drive the decisions we, we make mm -hmm. in order to build out our product. Right? Any hints on what's coming next for Hello Gold? For Hello Gold, uh, I think we are looking, we're working on actually rewarding our customers mm -hmm. a little bit more. We've, we, we now have about, I think it's 85,000 customers here in Malaysia. That's cool. Um, so, for the customers here, especially customers like you who have been with us for a long time, we're trying to install a mechanism to reward you um, for being sort of great savers with, with Hello Gold. I like that. Yes. <laughs> so, we're, we're looking at some form of a loyalty program, um, which I think should be, the first phase of it should be out, I'm going to say by the second quarter uh, of this year. Mm. So, that's really exciting for us. You know, cool. I think... Um, a lot of our customers, you know, have been with us since the start. So we launched two years ago mm. uh, or so from a like super beta app mm. um, to what it is today. Yeah. So we really want to try and go back and, and sort of uh, reward our loyal 85,000 customers and awesome. all our future customers awesome. um, on top of that. Okay. Yes. Uh, Perfect. Yeah. I'm, I'm staying. So. Yes, <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell the team to send you <laughs> less reminder emails. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, uh, it, it works. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for spending time with us today. Oh, thank you for um, For those of you who are interested, you can visit Soraya's blog, ringgitoringgit.com. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Correct. And you can also read her new book, yes. uh, Money Stories from Legends, Volume 1. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you.